There are, as far as I can tell, four games about Glasgow, an unreleased 2016 abstract game from Japan, a version of Monopoly, a 30-year-old knockoff of Monopoly style game made by the YMCA, and now this game, Glasgow. And I can safely say, this is the best one of those that I just listed. I have a lot of two-player games that come in boxes that look a bit like this and there is a bias that I have in favour of those types of games and that's something to be aware of because in this overview of Glasgow by Lookout Games I'm going to say a lot of very positive stuff in a short amount of time. Glasgow, it's a great city, I like it a lot. I used to date a girl who lived there so I spent a bunch of time technically being in Glasgow without actually doing much during the day but it does have a lot of good pubs. But here, you very much will be out and about in town gathering resources as you build the city together with your opponent. And that's one of the biggest aspects of this game. While you might battle it out for what you build and when, ultimately, you will both be building together. And as far as winning the game goes, how you do that is crucial. So in the game, you walk around Glasgow by following a large rondel of tiles you can land on, to, made up of architects and contract tiles, in actually almost the exact same way as the metro line in Glasgow works today, which is just one big never-ending circle. In a patchwork or games like Glenmore, uh, whoever's furthest behind gets to take a turn, so you can dive forward to get what you want, or you can wait back and stock up on as much stuff that will fit into your very limited warehouse. The contract tiles give you resources, let you trade resources, and even let you activate factories in the city more on that in a second, as well as a couple more cool actions like wiping buildings from above architects, getting double the goods next turn, or build a random building if you can afford to. As you collect the resources, you may then decide to build something by landing on an architect. There will be multiple buildings above it, and you can build as many as you want, though the more you build, the more an incurring cost of coins will come into play. And while that's all very well and good, it's the placement of these buildings that makes this game great. I will say now, I really do enjoy this because you're building together and the placement of the buildings matters a whole bunch for you, for both of you playing. Because in the 5x4 grid that your version of Glasgow will become, the buildings you put down are yours and your opponent's buildings, indicated by the arrow on the buildings, are still theirs. That means that it's the factories that are the most important, perhaps, in the game because they activate every time someone places a tile in the same row or column as that. So building factories early on will get you an engine so you can get more resources throughout the game. All the buildings do things. Firstly, many are worth points straight up at the end of the game for just for building them. And then buildings like the landmarks don't do much, but they are worth a lot of points when you build them. Banks that you build will give you points for goods that you don't spend and the factories that produce them. Tenements will give you three points at the end of the game for each tenement that's orthogonally adjacent, regardless of who actually owns any of those tiles. Parks multiplied by points of how many parks you own. Train stations give you points for sets of buildings and shops score five points if they're on the corner of the city grid. It's quick, I think it's really lovely looking, it makes you want to swear at whoever you're playing it with. It's an absolute gem of the game, I highly recommend it, especially if you like games like Seven Wonders Duel or Targi. It's like the city building version of one of those games, if in, that's the way it makes you feel, at least. Anyway, if you enjoy it, please do let me know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.